Hello, how are you? This is our new Butterflies Life Cycle um, lookbook. So I've put the book, I started putting it together. This doesn't come assembled, so it does come with the prints. You can order the paper versions, so you get these two pages as cutouts, or you can order the plastic versions. So I've cut these ones out already. Now, if I didn't sleep, I still would not have enough time to assemble these for you. So I just want to make that clear from the start. You need to put these together, chuck a good movie on, and it will take you probably... 30 minutes maybe to cut out uh, there's two pages of cutouts for this one so let me run through I haven't put the velcro on these yet I get my velcro from Bunnings um, or the two dollar store so you've got your hooks and your loops there I've got two different brands because I had a ton of hooks left um, and I've just gone and bought the loops I will cut that down that way and then into squares so I'm not using too much because if you are um, a lot of customers do buy the books as we release them and it does cost a small fortune in Velcro all right so let me show you the different pages so I wanted to show you these they're the cutouts I can move them now so we've got the life cycle through here from the eggs being laid all the way through to the butterfly and on this one we've given you some description so you don't have to go google it so the adult butterfly lays the eggs the caterpillars hatch now uh, larvae is the term for all things like moths um i can't remember what other bugs but overall the bugs that hatch they're larvae but in the case of butterflies they're specifically caterpillars because i did search the difference there so they still are larvae but for butterflies uh, not moths they are specifically caterpillars so the caterpillars then start to build their chrysalis not cocoon cocoons for a moth as it turns out i learned that yesterday so they build the chrysalis and it becomes a pupa inside and then it so the the case hardens and it attaches to a stick and it stays there for a time this uh process the time on this process depends or changes depending on the um species not species yes the type of butterfly yeah um and then the butterfly emerges from the chrysalis and it takes I think it's about an hour for it to pump the fluid through its rings and then they harden and then they can fly so never rescue a butterfly that's just come out doesn't need rescuing if you try and rescue it um, it will die because it needs that time for its uh, wings to harden so that it can fly now we have a cycle here ready for you to fill out the bits and pieces so you can do that with or without the words so we've got our adult butterfly. Hang on, I'm just going to get all the pieces here. There we go. So the adult butterfly lays the eggs. We've then got our caterpillar. This would be a really good one. Oh, I hope if I do it on screen. To do the book, The Really Hungry Caterpillar, because they eat lots and lots, because they need their energy to build their little chrysalis. There we go. So it's being built, and then it hardens, and then... It starts to emerge, still emerging, comes out looking like an adult butterfly, wings harden and it turns into an adult one. And then they repeat this cycle. Uh, you've also got your text to go with it. So you could do this, we'll put that at the top and we'll do this down here as a sequence. So the adult butterfly lays the eggs, the caterpillar builds a chrysalis, caterpillars hatch from the eggs. Hang on, sorry, there. Then it builds the chrysalis, an adult butterfly emerges, a pupa grows in the, uh, in the chrysalis. There we go. So we've got those five steps and they fit through here. We can then wipe them off. Now it's up to you as well if you want to do Velcro on there or not. Um, I will do that in a minute on fast forward because you don't need to see me put the whole thing together. Um, actually, I'll just do one. So I attach both there to cut out because you won't see it in detail on fast forward. Go like that. Um, when you get all the sticky over your scissors, I just use orange oil to clean it off. All right, and I always put the hook bit on the cutout, just because I don't like feeling the hooks on there. Um, so I always make sure they're self-adhesive because I do not want to be messing with glue. Then I stick the hook bit, uh, sorry, the loop bit, so the soft bit on, and then I don't want it on my yellow, so I'm going to position it there. There you go. Then you're good to go. And I still got the yellow. 
there you are. The um, display folders are Jay Burrows ones from Officeworks. I find they're the strongest. Um, don't get into the habit of putting Velcro on and off as far as the sticky bits because it will tear. Okay, I will show you the next page. I need my butterfly back. All right, so the first stage, we've got an adult butterfly who lays the eggs. In the second stage, we've got the caterpillars that hatch from the eggs. So you can put both pictures on or just keep it simpler for this one. The caterpillar then builds the chrysalis. So he's building it there and it will look like this when it's done. And then an adult butterfly emerges from the chrysalis. There you go. So there's your four stages. And then it just, you know, it's a cycle, keeps repeating. Um, again, we can Velcro that, page two. Then we've got, so I drew on this one yesterday when I was doing photos, um, what is happening in the picture. So you could do this sequence. This is where a few extra photos do help, um, explaining or telling that the adult butterfly is emerging from the chrysalis. You could do, you don't have to fill up all three, these two, that the adult butterfly has just laid her eggs and they'll hatch soon into caterpillars. Well, I've lost my caterpillar, there you go. Or you can do this one. So the caterpillar's hatched, it's eating lots and lots of food, and then it turns into, or builds a chrysalis and turns into a pupa. There you go, and you've got the lines there. Now, if your little one is too small to write, don't worry about it, just use it as an um, auditory or verbal um, exercise activity. And then we've got the butterfly. So this one, you're just cutting out the butterfly and I've stuck it onto the page. So I've put the, um, here, the print, the leaf in the sleeve and then just stuck the butterfly on top. That's just a fine motor skill cutting activity. So you can leave that for your little one to do. And then this one. So I did this one yesterday. So I just need to cut it out and stick it onto the leaf. Now in the book, I've only given you, uh, in the printout, sorry, I've only given you one leaf. Just print it twice for this one. Sorry, that was a phone call. Um, so we're gonna cut this one out and then stick it onto the leaf as well, like this one. Now this activity, or you can just put it in the file like this. This one. So we've got the page. We're just going to fold it in half. Now I'm gonna grab different paint colors this time. Um, I've just used the Ikea. Hold on a sec. I wanted blue, but I can't find blue. So I'm going to do orange and silver. Not my favorite colors at all. Um, my desk is about, I don't know, 20 centimeters high piled with different lookbooks and whatnot. So yeah, it's in there somewhere. All right. So this one, we're going to fold it in half and then decorate. I'm going to try a love heart this side. So these paints, you get seven tubes um, for something like $15 at Ikea. They're really good for fine motor skills, finger strength, um, and not too much comes out. Plus they're just not messy. They're good. All right. Oh, this is gonna look awful, I can tell. I'm sorry. I really would like blue. I don't even have yellow in front of me. All right, what else? Let's go pink. Oh, I can be creative at times. This is not one of those times. There, I put loads of paint on that one. So hopefully with a little bit less. Oh look, it looks awful anyway. Let's just add some more color. Can't get worse, can it? You can, but yeah. All right, there we go. Oh, I just stuck my finger in it. Of course I did. All right, then we just push it down. And another good one, if you get this in digital, you can do this a number of times over because you just keep printing off this page. Oh, that actually wasn't too bad. It's better than my first attempt. Look at that. So we'll just wait for it to dry, then cut it out. You can add pipe cleaners or just texture, whatever for the antennae, and then you can stick it on the leaf. I'm going to fast forward how I put this together. And yeah, I will talk to you soon. Bye.
hey i'm back it's all put together so we've got the velcro here ready to put on the different pictures which i've got stuck on this page we've got so you'll end up using more hoops uh hoops loops loops hooks so you've got the loops on there and the hooks on the back so you're obviously using the butterfly on a number of different pages um so just allow for that then i've just put squares on there um, because of where i stuck it they aren't quite centered but that doesn't matter and then you've got your butterfly and then this one's put together as well i hope you enjoy i actually don't mind this one without the velcro um, but depending on how you're using it and where you're using it whether it's a class or at home um, it's also very useful just to keep the pieces all together all right i'm going to go hope you enjoy it talk to you soon see ya